It's five o'clock. I was up around four today. Um, I meant to be up all night, um, do cleaning and things, but um, I crashed. It, I tried to force myself to go to sleep, and it didn't really work. So I was in bed at like four, and I slept until like four because I didn't really sleep. I got my rent increase today. I'm just gonna go type the rent, type the uh, check up, or write the check out, um, drop it off. Um, start of the day, I still need to do some cleaning. Um, I, there's, there's nothing really. I'm not really planning on doing anything today except um, planning around leaving probably early in the morning. In fact, uh, the way things have worked out, um, tomorrow is probably today. So, yeah, let's uh, get this written up and then let's do some cleaning. We'll go from there. So I was doing my last vacuum run for the night uh, in here. Um, simple enough task, you would think. Unfortunately, my vacuum stopped. What would be the cause of that? I'm not sure. Um, it could have um, got a power surge, which I hope not. Um, it could have overheated, although um, the evidence in front of me suggests that's not likely. Or it may have been really dirty, which it was. <laughs> so um, whether the cause of it was the dirt whether the reason it stopped was because it was clogged or not, it did need to be cleaned. So I stopped, cleaned it. Um, this is a bag full of dirt that was in there. Uh, filterless. It means I don't have to buy filters. I uh, still have to throw out bags. Um, but um, I guess that's a bag worth, right? Maybe a small bag worth. That would be a small vacuum. If, if that was a vacuum bag, it would be a small vacuum bag, would it not? It would. Um, but it, it definitely needed to be cleaned. Um, this guy, I don't know if I even can really clean this properly. I might need to do a second run on it. Um, we're done for the night. I guess I'll have to finish vacuuming. Uh, it won't be tomorrow. It'll be the next day. Um, I've got a load in the dryer, should be just about done. That's three out of five loads, that's it for the night. We'll do uh, underwear and jeans, it's four and five. We'll do them again, not tomorrow, probably Sunday. Um, right now, let's, uh, I'm just gonna get my bed back, uh, where I ought to be back there. Um, put the whole vacuum thing on pause for a couple of days and uh, I'm not exactly hungry right now. Um, I will be soon. I gotta eat. Eat first. I gotta wait for the hot water to come back. Take a shower and then... Uh, I've got vlogs finished, I think, up to the 13th. So I need to do a little editing in there. And then we're done. Until, uh, until tomorrow. What do I plan to do? So what do I plan to do for the rest of the night? I gotta eat, take a shower. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night editing. I think that unless I have something to say, chances are that we'll talk in the morning when I'm on my way out for a compost run. Almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Sun's still not up yet. It's almost there. Um, bit of a frustrating night. I got slowed down. I decided to watch a couple of vlogs before I uh, took a shower, and in the process, the machine crashed on me. So I had to copy all of the data out of the virtual machine back to my local drive, and then I and, and the, I had the choice if I could whether I wanted to watch the vlog then or later. But once the machine crashed, then I ha once the virtual machine crashed, then I had to watch it then because I needed to check to see about the other 
files and I needed to um, I need to clear off the space and to copy it back. So um, I basically spent the entire morning instead instead of doing things that I wanted to do, like take a shower. Um, I spent the whole morning watching vlogs. Um, I've at least watched the vlogs um, from I guess I watched from from the sixth to the eighteenth. As I mentioned, I guess it was uh, either yesterday or, as I mentioned recently, um, this is actually much better. Um, it's just it, it, the necessity enforced itself in a, at a particular time where I wish it hadn't. On top of that, the weather forecast has shifted on me. They said it was going to be warm and sunny today. Um, well, relatively warm and sunny, a few degrees above zero. And they've changed the, the cloudy with a chance of rain, um, which is bad because one of the things I wanted to do today was get a hard drive. Um, I made the decision that I'm going to have to plug through. Um, I don't really have a choice um, because of the um, way that the weather is coming up over the next week. I could maybe conceivably go tomorrow. Um, in which case it would be a little cooler, and depending on how much I get done today, I may end up going back out tomorrow. Um, but after that, it's it'll be warm for a few days, but it's going to rain. And then after that, it's going to be cold for the foreseeable future because it's Canada and it's winter. And, you know, I probably should have done this a few days ago when I had the opportunity, but I was stuck doing this or that and everything else, right? So, um... On top of that, I've picked up a little bit of a, a little bit of a head cold. I don't know if it's hep B related or what, but um, it's got my nose running. So I actually think that going out and getting a little bit of fresh air will be good for my sinuses. Um, I, I'm suspecting that it's probably not a cold at all, but um, or not a virus at all, but probably allergies down here. I think part of the reason I cleaned it down here was because I was concerned about the dust. And I'm not going to get that done either until I finish with the vac until I put the vacuum back together. So. Getting some air today will be good, um, even with all of these complications. Um, I wanted to be gone by now. I'm going to have to... I, I've just put it back to the point where I can start re-editing. So I'm going to have to re-edit the vlogs from, I guess, that's, what is it, 18... From the 18th to the 27th. Do that, and then I can get ready to go. Um, it's going to be later, but what am I going to do? Not much I can do, so... Um, when I do get out, um, I, so here's the thing, I need to get the ice cream today, right? I don't need a hard drive today. I don't need a monitor today. I don't, I should get some boots, and I don't really need shoes, right? That's the list of things. Um, there it is right there, I was going to wait, but there it is. Um, but I need to go out anyways because I need to get ice cream. And there's not going to be another day where I can go out to get ice cream. So I might as well go out and do the other things too. Um, we're going to start this with a compost run, as I mentioned. Just let me get the things in order. Um, unfortunate complications. It's actually probably a benefit because, like I say, the weather shifted on me. Right now it's really cold and windy. It's going to it appears taper off a little bit um, once the sun comes up a bit. So, works out anyways. Let me get this in order and let's go. 11 o'clock in the morning. I have spent three hours trying to pull a hair out of my neck unsuccessfully. And at this point, I am slightly concerned that the swelling. I either prevent me from breathing or from swallowing. And thus I have resolved to abide by a zero pluck policy. I, I, I don't feel I have any other choice. Um, this is the... Well, I've done this more than twice. 
Um, but this is the second time I've done this with serious intent. The first time I actually took the tweezers and I broke them. Uh, they should still be in that box of recycle, which, because it's a holiday today, is actually going to stay in. Um, and I went and I purchased a pair of tweezers several months later after noticing two things. One, I was pulling hairs out of my neck with my fingernails. And two, um, I had a specific hair that there was just no other way it was getting out. I have to um, deal with this mentally. And it's the mental part of it that's the problem. Um, I did not tweeze for most of my life. Um, I just shaved. And it worked just fine. Um, it was a little after I moved here that I started noticing that the stubble on my neck was a little bit thicker. And that there were black dots. Um, specifically around my Adam's apple. And um, the shaving just wasn't working. So I took a look at them and I said, okay, I can tweeze that out. And I did. And it worked great. And my neck was very smooth and I loved it. It was great. It was a very good day. Unfortunately, um, I cannot maintain control of myself. I become obsessive. I stand in front of the mirror for hours at a time, as I did this morning, pulling hairs out, every single any hair I can find, which creates a huge problem with ingrowns. Uh, with, with with stubble, it's it's just a it's it, it's a horrific mess. But once you get stuck in it, it's hard to get out of it because you've got to just accept that for a while. <laughs> you've got to let the ingrowns grow in. You've just got to, you know, um, and that's hard because you're looking at weeks or months of essentially um, unpassable appearance. And so this is um, what we have coming up. Um, I'm sure that there will be, um, well, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not like I'm on camera every day anyways. I'm on camera once a week, a couple times a month. I need to get outside and get some air. Um, I'm not exaggerating when I said I'm concerned about my, my, my neck swelling up. Um, so let me get out where there's people. Um, if I start turning purple, someone will see me. Um, but uh, I, I'm gonna have to, this is gonna be very hard for me because it means that I'm gonna have to deal with this. I'm going to have to deal with... I mean, it's not like... I went after it because I had little black hairs and it was... I couldn't deal with it. Now, instead of having little black hairs, I have giant red splotches. <laughs> like, all the time. It, it's... It's... <laughs> It's obviously much worse. In my head, it's better because it's not hair, right? And you, you know, you can you can make up over it if I were. If I mean, I'm not going to today, but if I really wanted to, I could. And it, but I mean, it's not. I know that you can't. The only way you get rid of the hair is killing it with the root. And, see, what I was thinking in my mind is that, and this is true, is that if you pull the hair out repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again, um, it will stop. And there are parts where 
you know, I see like little white hairs grow now instead of, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's had some positive effect, but the negative is just totally outweighing it. So I've taken my tweezers and I have put them away. If I am tempted, I will have to destroy them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that I can avoid that. Um, I kind of know better. And I'm going to have to take a zero tweeze policy for... For a year. It's uh, December 31st. 2017, there, there we go. I don't normally do New Year's resolutions, but here we are. It, it just happens. This is just a coincidence that it's this day. Uh, there will be no tweezing for one year. Not for 2017. I think I said something about this sometime last year. I didn't follow through with it. But this is... This has to be... The end. I've been through... Some nasty scars. Well... I only really have one scar. But some nasty... Scabs on my face. It just made me go wild. And today... Just where it is on my neck... Like knowing... Okay, this is gonna swell up, and <laughs> am I gonna have to go to the hospital because I can't breathe? That's absurd. That should not happen. I need like that was it's just stupid of me. I need to harden up and not do that. Right. So <sighs> no FaceTime today for that reason. Uh. We'll talk once my face heals. Or we'll, 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 we'll see each other once my face heals. Um, I don't have... The nice thing about today, and the reason why I want everything done today, is that I don't have to go out again until the 18th. Um, I did a concert run. Um, the 18th, is, there's a cold cave show on the 18th. I may want to go somewhere on my birthday on the, this is the 13th. I doubt it. Um... So let's get what I need to done done, and then I'm in for almost three weeks. Uh, hopefully that's enough time. Is that um, shit gets dealt with on my face? I can't do this anymore. Gotta stop. It's the hat. And um, maybe I need to come to terms with things and start saving money up for electrolysis. Maybe that's something I need to do. If I can't, um... If I can't get a good enough result from shaving, that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's forget about this plucking thing. Or maybe if I can think of it like this. Any positive that I could have got from plucking is already it's done I'm not gonna get anything else out of it <laughs> I'm just gonna keep fucking up my face it's gotta stop so otherwise I'm ready to go so let me get my things and, uh, together and uh, well we'll talk when I get out I guess that the upside is that it's the winter so nobody really needs to see my neck thank God um, yeah, so nobody needs to see it for today, and hopefully, um, I mean, it, it doesn't negate anything I just said, um, but, um, I guess we're going to be walking around like this today, and that's okay, no it is, like really, it's fine, it's just, I don't, it's the winter, thank God, and I don't, and I don't want to be doing this anymore, right, <laughs> I want to be over this problem. So let's, uh, yeah, they're gone, no more. Um, well, let me, let me take, put my shoes on, we'll talk when we get outside. So as mentioned, I'm like five hours late getting the day started, <laughs> which almost makes you wonder whether you're gonna do the day or not, but I don't, I don't really have a lot of choice. I gotta do these things today. So, um, 
the first thing I need to do is find a shopping cart. Um, if I have to go all the way to the food basics, then so be it. <clears throat> if I can find one closer, then great. Um, I'm also gonna grab a coffee at the store. Um, because we're going on a compost run. This, uh, this shopping cart's going to be used uh, for multiple things on the, there's one right here. Okay, great. I will steal that cart. Um, will be used for multiple things. So, this is a multi-use cart right here. And that's my compost run. Uh, two bags of compost, four, you know what, I could probably fit that on my bag, but I don't want to. This is uh, going to be a lot more. Um, I, I have a theory that what's wrong with my what's wrong with my uh, face is that uh, I strained a muscle on my back. So, anyways, that's, uh, that's where we're going with this. So let's go. Would you look at that? It seems as though the Kafka insurance broker has changed locations. Uh, business must have been slow at the other location. Must have been just, you know, bad location. Well, I hope business has picked up for the Kafka insurance brokers at this location. I can't remember if I took a shot at this place last winter or not, but I've taken a couple of shots of this strip in the summer because it's just so lush. It's like a rainforest. And I'm always afraid that I'm going to get jumped by a cougar. The uh, cattails have really uh, wilted in the weather, huh? Are those cattails? Biggest damn cat. They look like wheat. I would not be surprised if that is actually wheat. Anyways. A couple of months makes a big difference up here in terms of like the greenery and, well, we have seasons here. And uh, they're, especially with the plant life, it's just huge differences. Okay, so I got my compost drop off done um, and I'm heading to the Walmart, which is the main point of today's trip. Um, where I go after that is gonna depend on how productive the trip there is. Um, you'll notice I didn't talk much about Christmas. I uh, didn't do anything on Christmas, really, while well, I bought a pizza. Um, I did have a little bit of money coming in, so um, I'm going to buy myself a Christmas present. That Christmas present is going to be a hard drive. Um, it was back in March of 2014. In fact, that's where I, that's where I stopped off on the, on the copy over the other day, um, that my hard drive, one of my hard drives broke. I have four hard drives when I bought that machine. When did I buy that machine? Let's remember back, when was it, 2006, 2007? I bought it with four 250 gigabyte hard drives. Um, terabyte of total space. Um, I figured it would last a long time, and it certainly did. Um, I think that um, I'm getting to the point where I do need to cycle over not just the one that broke, which took me down to 750 gigabytes total space, and that's just that machine, right? I mean, I've got lots of space in other ways, but um, I'm going to see um, about transferring over all four of the drives. I mean, it's not going to be all at once, it's going to be one at a time kind of thing. Um, first things first, um, I want to replace the one that was gone because I am running out of space on that machine. That's my recording machine. Um, massively um, um, memory intensive um, regarding space that I need, so. Um, and just the way that I'm storing it, um, like I need to have separate. It's not gonna be very much longer before um, one of those 250 gigabyte drives is just like wave storage for burning, right? So, am I going to want to transfer over to a, to a one terabyte, you know, like, 
So I've got four, ter four terabytes total, or so the, the two terabytes, so I've got eight terabytes total. I'm gonna see what the options are. Um, price is gonna be a big deal. Um, I'm budgeted for $100 max. Um, I have no, if I don't get it at Walmart, I'll get it at Staples. Um, there's no question in my mind that I should be able to meet that um, budget requirement. So um, there's that. I'm going there first because I also need um, to get some shoes and some boots. Uh, the dog there is very um, It's the, uh, it, we haven't been outside. We, we saw the snow from the window. Um, I, I've been way too many years without a pair of boots. So, um, that's something that uh, I need to do. Um, it's just, I mean, I, I, I happen to come out right now where it's, there's no snow on the ground. That was another um, big part of the reason why I had to go today because um, when the temperature comes back down next week, I don't know. Um, I, I could have to walk through a, through a blizzard on my way to my appointment on the 18th. So, um, I'm not looking for like, you know, like moon boots. That's what we used to call them in high school. And if you, if you live in a snowy climate, you know what I mean? Um, the Neil Armstrong style boots. I'm just looking for something that's, you know, waterproof that I can take out in the snow. Um, and um, I've been trying to get, well, I've been planning on getting a new pair of shoes since September when I came back that night. Um, so, um, these ones are, th th they're holding up well, but uh, they've got holes in them. They're on their last legs. So, um, we had that talk too, and I wanted to get walking shoes because I do so much walking. So, um, we've also talked about the batteries. Um, and that's the reason why I'm going to the Walmart, because I think the batteries will be cheaper than the staples. So, um, there's a couple other things I got written down. We'll see what we got, but that's my plan for the afternoon. Um, I would talk while I'm walking, but I've got the cart with me, so let's, uh, let's go. And that was unfortunately a total bus. Um, they... Well, once I finally found some batteries, I didn't, they weren't, if anything, they looked, they struck me as more expensive, so. Um, I'm going to take a walk around back to the mall and see what I can find there. There's a radio shot there. That might be my best bet. Um, like they had, you can tell that they had, hard, like they sold hard drives there, but they were out. So, you know, what do you do? Um. Is there a radio shack back there? You know, I think there is. I'm gonna check to see if there's a radio shack back here first. Well, I stopped with the Payless shoes there. Every time I see the Payless, I think of a friend of mine's ex-girlfriend because she was a Payless shoes girl. That was her name, was Payless shoes girl. I actually don't even remember her name. Besides being paid less shoes, girl. Anyways, um, I got a pair of. They were size six. Um, they're just black boots. I, I figured they're unisex, but they're they're kids' boots. I have a size six kids, and my feet fit. So, in fact, they're a little big. The five and a half was snug. So, um, that solves that problem. There's a Radio Shack up here, right? I'm not walking around for nothing. Um, this was why I wanted to go to the mall, though. Unless there's a... I remember waiting outside the radio shack there. That's where the Burger King was. Okay, let me cross the street here. Burger King, I can see the Burger King. Yeah, maybe they moved it over there or something. I don't know. The reason I wanted to go to the mall was because all the shoe stores at the mall, right? I can wait until next time I'm down to get some shoes. I'm just worried about the time um, because um, it's a holiday. I believe that was the radio shack there. Okay. The, the, the one that's closed. Okay, closed, but like closed forever. They move across the street. The one store I'd want to go to is the one that's closed, right? Okay. Um, 
if that's the case, then I'm gonna want to go to the. Uh, okay. So if that's the case, then I'm gonna want to go to the mall anyways because that's where the radio shack is. Um, let's see if I can get some cheaper batteries there. Yeah. Winter boots for 25 bucks. Kids boots. I'm only gonna wear them when it's snowing, so it should last me basically forever. So that solves that problem for forever. Nice to know. All right, back to the cart, and uh, we're gonna go back around the other way, back where I came, and go to the mall, and then uh, head back up to the Staples after that. I'm gonna guess it's around, well, I'll see the clock up there, but I'm gonna guess it's around 2.30. Um, I wanna be to the Staples, I guess maybe before five, my guess. I have to close before five, they were never open. All right, so that's like the, that's like the worst case scenario, really. And of course, if I go to the Radio Shack Mall, they have hard drives, then I don't need to go to staples at all, and I'm get some shoes. So yeah, let's go to the mall. That's uh, decided. I wasn't sure about the logic there. It was a little... They didn't move the... No, it's some worse. Maybe they moved the Radio Shack over here. The Radio Shack appears to just... Oh, did they close? I'm, first of all, I'm calling it Radio Shack, which like, they haven't called Radio Shack Radio Shack in like 10 years or something, right? We're called the source forever and I'm str I, I, I'm kind of I'm vaguely recalling that they shut it down which is like I don't know I don't know if they have a radio shack in other countries but in this country well the fact that I'm calling it a, a name that nobody's called it in years indicates its importance I suppose even though they're always empty and uh, they probably don't sell much Anyways, I'm just wasting my battery, which is why I am. Uh, now I'm stuck in a loop. Error, 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 error. So have we been inside this mall yet? I don't think we have. It's a mall. I don't, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make a big deal of that. If you've been in a mall, you've been in a mall. But I'm gonna stack my cart here. Uh, I'm looking for a radio shack first and foremost. We'll see what else is in there. So that was a fail. Um, just not there. Only choice in here really was the. Well, it's not a Radio Shack anymore. I keep saying that it's the the store formerly known as Radio Shack. Uh, they just didn't carry it. So um, rather than hang out here and get some shoes, I'm gonna I'm gonna book it down to the Staples. <sighs> Hoping I catch them before they close. I think I got lots of time. I just don't want to play with it. Um, and uh, I got what I need to get there. Well, it's open. Let's see what they got in stock. Whew. Man, long walk on no sleep. Feet are tired. Yes, sir. So I got a two gigabyte drive. What the hell am I gonna use for two gigabyte wall? If I get ahead of ourselves right now, I have one two gigabyte drive to plug in. At the end of the day, what the hell am I gonna use four of them for? Well, I kind of expect at the end of the day the most um, red ends is going to be these the logs. Um. It'll take a while, but will I get to two terabytes? Eventually, considering that I'm gonna be doing it forever. I don't know if I can stop. Maybe I can stop um, storing things in low quality. If I got the space, right? So that's a big, uh, I mean, not, not right now, I'm gonna keep storing it in low quality for now. I'm ultimately going to have to store it in low quality because of the, uh... I, I'm, I'm going to be packaging them on, uh, on Blu-ray discs, so... Anyways, um... I need to, uh, keep walking because I have a hard drive in my bag now, um, and, uh, it can't be, uh, cold too, too long. Um, 
It's not that cold, it's windy. Oh, it's warmer than I thought. Um, in total, I found, what is that, 135? 160 today, I had 400 to spend. Um, I think I'm done. So, it's pretty good, really. I did not get batteries because they were out. It was the same price. The next time I'm here, probably the 18th, that's the doctor's office right there. And I'll get some batteries there, so. A few weeks. Um, what did I not get? I did not get shoes, and I did not get a monitor. Neither one of which are pressing at the moment. So I'm gonna finish this up by getting some grocery shopping um, and uh, heading home, that's it. There we go, it's six o'clock. I got everything done to last me until the 18th and longer, except some salami, which I'll need to pick up soon. So six hours on my feet straight, nothing in between. And so you might wonder why the hell I would go back out. Who in the right mind would do that? But there is something, one more thing I have to do. And it's extremely important. I tried to, just a second. I don't know if I'm, I'm surprised. I tried to um, uh, communicate how important this last step is. So let's make sure we get this across. Even after six hours on your feet, uh, after having not slept in a long time, I'm coming up on what is this? Close to a 30 hour day. Even after all these things, you are still obligated to put the cart back where you found it. <coughs> Now, if you found it at the store, then that means you went back to the store. And if you found it somewhere else, well, that means you went back to that other place that you found it too. The important thing is that it gets. We're a giant dog sitting in the street. Where is my eye sight? Not so much. Or is it even just a knocked over garbage container? I'm going with a knocked over garbage container. Because I don't really like the idea of a giant dog in the street. Like, that's big enough to be a bear. No, yeah, it's a knocked over container. Okay. So, um, well, that's the truth. We saw that a little earlier. Okay. See how it all ties in? Alright, so, always bring your cart back where you found it. And this is where I found it. So this, is where it goes. Right. Right there. Done. I'm not quite going home yet, though. i got one more stop to make because I've been thinking about this all day because it's New Year's and um, this is my this is my New Year's ritual um, or the, the, the part of it that we can talk about anyways so we'll be back in a sec that is what I was chosen for all day and I'm excited to eat it be safe. Okay, let's do this together. Oh. Yes. That's all I'm thinking about right now.